It is that time of year again. The rattlesnakes coming out of hibernation. Apparently they're headed for your hiking trail, golf course, maybe even your home. Why? I don't know. This morning, Team 12's Matt Uris joins us now with some expert advice on how to stay safe. Matt, any snake sightings this morning? Gosh, I hope not. No, no, not yet. Uh, quiet out here at North Mountain this morning. My tea time, if I go out later this afternoon, I could see myself uh, bumping into a rattlesnake or two where I hit him, but that's neither here nor there. And this is the exact moment I'd like to lie about my golf game, but the guy I play with is standing behind the camera, so I'm done there. But let's get back to rattlesnake <laughs> safety. Some serious notes here on what you need to know before you go have a great day on the hiking trails, golf course, or elsewhere. The big overarching safety tip, be aware of your surroundings. Otherwise, you might step on one of these guys. Along those same lines, don't reach anywhere you can't see. Otherwise, you guessed it, a rattlesnake might bite your hand. Another important note, rattlesnakes can't hear. So they won't know if you're there if you surprise them. And in Arizona, there are a lot of snakes to surprise, unfortunately. The state is home to 13 different types of rattlesnakes. That's more than any other state in the country. Some bragging rights of sorts there, I suppose. We spoke with Russ Johnson, the president of Phoenix Herpetological Sanctuary, who actually survived a rattlesnake bite. Two of them. Take a listen. When the bite first took place, it was kind of like being burned and electrocuted. It was a, quite a shock. And, you, and uh, unfortunately, the fang uh, got stuck in a knuckle, so I couldn't get it off, so I got a lot of venom. And then as the venom started to pulse through my body, you could tell where it was because it was like, like the tide coming in, and the pain would go further and further and further up my arm, and then eventually down my side and into my leg. If you are bitten, you should immediately call 911, get to the hospital. You should also take off all your jewelry. Do that as fast as possible because of anticipated swelling and immobilize that impacted area. Keep in mind, rattlesnakes, and this is some good news, they're not looking for you. They're just out looking for food. So if you stay away, you should be okay. Don't push your luck. Believe it or not, there, the sound we just heard, that guy pushed his luck. Handful of years later, was bitten again, but he's here to tell us about it, so that's encouraging. Live in Phoenix, Matt Uris, Today in AZ.